this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Filmic Pro's dual lens support for the iPhone 7 Plus to switch between the wide and telephoto lenses, as well as take advantage of the optical zoom mode. By default, the wide angle 28mm equivalent lens is selected and provides the widest field of view. This is great for capturing landscapes, establishing shots, as well as scenes with lots of action as it provides a deep depth of field. To change your lens selection, tap the action slider in the upper left of the interface, then tap the camera icon. On all non-iPhone 7 Plus models, this will just switch between the front and rear cameras. But on the iPhone 7 Plus, it gives us four lens selection options. The wide 28mm lens is currently selected and has optical image stabilization built into it. This is an ideal choice for capturing the most stable handheld shots. The Tele 56mm equivalent lens is perfect for close-ups as it gives you a 2x optical zoom over the wide lens, and also helps generate a shallower depth of field which really helps you direct the viewer's attention. Unlike the wide lens, Apple did not include optical image stabilization on the Tele, so for best results, use a tripod or stabilizer to keep your shots steady. Both the wide and Tele lens selections give you full manual control over the focus, white balance and exposure. And if you don't know how to control these, make sure you check out episode 3 of the Epic Guide to Filmic Pro. If we tap the camera icon again, we can select the zoom lens, which will reveal the zoom slider down the right hand side of the interface and allow you to perform up to a 2x optical zoom. Once you progress past 2x on the zoom, it will implement digital zoom, which will result in quality loss. It's important to note that the zoom lens does not support manual adjustment of the focus, exposure and white balance. However, these values can still be locked. If you need complete manual control, use the wide or telephoto lens with digital zoom. If you want to utilize the optical zoom without accidentally engaging the digital zoom, tap and hold on the first zoom target control bubble whilst fully zoomed out to lock in the 1x value. Then zoom to approximately two times and tap and hold on the second zoom target control bubble. As you can see, I'm a little bit over where we want to be, so tap and hold on the bubble to clear it. And by single tapping the minus zoom icon, it will step back one zoom point at a time. Then tap and hold again to lock in the 2x zoom position and you're good to go. Now you can tap either bubble to perform smooth optical zooms without degrading your image quality. If we tap on the camera icon a final time, you can select the selfie camera, which has been greatly improved on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and at long last is capable of shooting high quality video in 1080p at up to 50 megabits per second thanks to Filmic Pro. Note that the front facing selfie camera does not support manual focus but does allow you to manually set exposure and white balance. Thanks a lot for watching. If this tutorial helped you out please like, share and subscribe and you can follow Filmic Pro and Epic Tutorials on social media for more mobile filmmaking tips, tricks and tutorials.